Okay, second attempt at trying to film this. I am here, I'm gonna get just right into it. I'm here to do the home sweet home tag created by, I think it was the Not So Ordinary Wife. I will link her down below, as well as the list of, the original list of questions. I copied them down and I will be reading from my iPad. So, jumping in, there's 16 questions. Number one, what is your current living situation? Do you own, rent, live with your parents, with a roommate, what? So, we own our house. The bank owns it and we pay them money every month to live here. Number two, what type of house do you live in? Um, it's your cookie cutter house. It's got the garage in front, kind of ranch style, I guess. And it's brick on the front siding, on the sides in the back. <clears throat> Do you live in the city, suburbs, or country? I'm from Alabama. I live in the country. This is not the countryest I've ever lived in, and I actually don't like this in between stage. We live in a very small town, it has one red light, but it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most from a very big city. So, um, I don't like this. I like to be, I don't want to be in the city, but if I had to be, um, I would, I would want to live in the city, like in a for real subdivision, in a real, you know, with HOA and all that kind of stuff. But I really, we really want to live in the country. And I'm talking like 45 minutes to get to a super Walmart kind of country and there ain't nothing around. That's where we want to live. Hopefully we'll one day. Do, okay. Number four, how many people live in your home? There are five right now. My husband, myself, our two little girls, and the mother. When did you buy your home and how old were you? I was, we bought our home in 2007, September of 2007. I was 22 and Mike was 26. No. No, no, no. 25. Mike was 25. Yeah, I was 22 and Mike was 25. Number six, how long have you lived there? Hmm. It will be nine years in September. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Number seven, how many bedrooms do you have? Three. Number eight, how many bathrooms? Two. Number nine, what was the selling point of your house? The fact that I was... 37 weeks pregnant and we needed a house so I could have that baby um, because we were living in a hotel room because my husband's military and we had just moved here from England at, in the middle of August. So we were in a time crunch, we needed a house. But really, we liked this one because it was move-in ready, it was brand new, move-in ready, and we weren't gonna have to do anything and also, there's huge big windows in the uh, small, so don't think that I have like this big house, but there's big windows, two big windows in the living room, like a double window, big double window, a big double window in the dining room and then a single window in the dining room, but they're like almost four to see when they're huge and it lets in ton of fresh, real natural light. Also the back door, you know, obviously there's a pain missing out of it, so I'm not, that's all I meant, there's not a missing pain, but it's like a big glass window, so there's tons of natural light in there, and we love that. Also, that we have a Jack and Jill bathroom, so the girls, <coughs> the girls' bedroom has its own bathroom. Well, I mean, obviously it doubles as a guest bathroom, but still, that's pretty cool. Closet sold us. Two bedrooms have walk-in closets, and the other closet is a deep closet, so it's really nice. Number 10, what's something you love about your house? I think I just mentioned them, the 
windows. I like the color of the cabinets in the kitchen. And yeah. And the fake fireplace is nice in the winter. Even though it's Alabama, we don't really need it. Number 11, what's something that you hate? Obviously, I don't hate it enough to move. I guess I'd say... Oh, the kitchen light. Stopped working about four years ago. I actually, no. About four years ago, no, more than that like five years ago, the actual light fixture in the kitchen failed. The builders did not put a support something. Well, I don't know what you call it. They did not <clears throat> put a support thing in there for the light fixture, so it just fell, shattered. We bought a new one, I got sick, whole world just imploded. And so basically, Last year sometime, my dad does construction and he came up and helped Mike put the support thing in and put in the new light fixture. It worked great for about a few months, six, seven months. And then it has stopped working again. It just won't work, won't come on. So we gotta get my dad back up here to help Mike look at it. That's one thing I don't like. And other things I don't like are the builders. I don't know if this was the first house they built, or if they were just dumb. I know we were dumb when we bought it because we didn't catch it. But like little things, like some of the light fixtures don't line up right and it's annoying. Some of the plates, like switch plate covers are not exactly straight or there might be like by the fireplace, there's like one, and then right, it's like one right here, so they're not lined up. It's just dumb, and this one's like kind of confined, so it's just annoying. But all fixable, all things fixable. What, number 12, is what is a future project you plan on doing every day? I don't know if we're going to stay here because we're military, and we've got orders right now for next year so I'm not sure but I do know that one project we're going to be doing in the next couple months is the kitchen we're going to be putting up Wayne's coating yeah Wayne's coating and our board and batten one or the other painting and like kind of just redecorating and there that's it and then um We've got some touch-up stuff to do around doors, like sand, some trim work, and repaint that. Um, I think that's it, <clears throat> mostly. Just painting the rest of the house. What is something you changed immediately when you moved in? Well, it was moving ready, so we didn't change anything. But we did add interior shutters. You might can see them behind me on our big bathroom window. Those are the only ones left out of this whole entire house we did. Every single window. Those are the only ones left because we had a lab and a, oh, what is that dog called? Great Pyrenees. And they don't like to be left alone, folks. Mm -mm. Do not leave your lab or your Great Pyrenees or your Great Dane. Home alone. At all. Not for five seconds. Because they ruined our interior shutters. Made me sick to my stomach. Oh. They ruined them. Past the point of being fixed. They also ruined my couch. Thankfully, the cushion covers it. And we have a cash envelope going to replace it. But ruined my couch and my beautiful interior shutters. Oh, and, and chewed a hole in the back door. We had a new back door. I digress. Okay, on to the next question. 
something, number 14, something you always wanted to do but never got around to. So, for me, that was probably a backsplash in the kitchen and we wanted to do the stone around the fireplace. Number 15, if you had to do it again, would you still buy this home? Rent this home, whatever. I don't know. I'm happy here. I love the neighbors. We're in the type of neighborhood that our kids can go outside and play and we don't have to be out there with them and I love that. I love that. But I don't know if I'd buy this home again. I want something with a, bump, with a front porch, a little bit more land. I would be okay living in this home until I die and never moving again. But, you know, I don't, I think I would have chose a different home, but we made great memories here. So that's, that's, you know, got some effect on it. Number 16, does your home have any quirks? And do you like them? Yes, our home has quirks. No, I do not like them. I mentioned before about the misalignment of the like fixtures and I just noticed another one. The like fixtures and the switch plate covers and stuff like that, but the only other one I can think about really is the what is wrong with me? I can't get my mind together. Oh, the front and the back door. So like our front door is here and then straight back is our back door but off to the side a little bit so it's like this. When you open one door, the other one, if it's not shut really well, it's gonna it's like a draft issue. You have to be sure they're shut really good or when you close one, the other one's gonna open. Close that one, this one's gonna open or shut, you know? It's just one of those draft issues. But anyhow, that is the 16 questions. I'll link them below. I'm not going to tag anybody. I wasn't tagged. I just wanted to do this. But if you make this video or you have made one, please comment below because I love to watch these kinds of things. Okay, I hope you have a good day and I will see you later.